Well, good morning, folks. So, believe it or not, I only brought one sweatshirt on this entire spring break trip here down to Florida, and it looks like we're gonna be using it. So, cold front rolled through last night, dropped the temperatures from like 85, 88 degrees, all the way down to the upper 60s, low 70s. So, got a bit of an easterly breeze here on the West Coast, and uh, it's honestly pretty chilly for this time of year. But with that being said, as you can see behind me, we just launched the kayak, and it's been a rough start this morning. My phone died overnight, so I woke up two hours later than I was supposed to. We're launching the kayak now at 10 a.m. versus sunrise at 7 a.m. But game plan for today is gonna be similar to what we did a couple days ago when we were inshore waiting, but obviously now we have the kayak and we're about 150 miles away from the spot I did that waiting. So yesterday I just hopped on the highway, drove down the Gulf Coast to meet my good friend Dylan. Unfortunately, the fish were not very cooperative yesterday. As that front rolled through, it was just blowing like 25. But today we're feeling a little more optimistic, a little more pumped up and i'm absolutely stoked to fish the kayak in this part of florida obviously i've never done this before so uh yeah hopefully fish cooperate stay tuned folks let's get in the yak start pedaling around and uh see what we can find out there today Whew. all right oh yeah <laughs> it's been quite some time since we got to use this bad boy. Although in YouTube time, it probably looks like it was just a couple weeks ago, but I actually left the kayak over in Tampa uh, for the last two months, waiting till I came back over to spring break. And uh, here we are, stoked to be back on the water. You. All right, so game plan for today, folks, is really just to fish. Um, brought two rods out, sticking with our Daiwa BG, Mojo Inshore, light tackle combo just gonna be throwing around some soft plastics on this guy and uh, looking for some snook, trout, maybe a lucky redfish. Water looks real dirty just off the of rip, but uh, we're gonna be fishing all these mangrove shorelines. There's literally just miles upon miles of uh, really pristine mangrove shorelines that we can fish and uh, that hopefully hold fish. So right here, we're just gonna get a couple casts off by our launch spot and uh, you know, we'll see what's biting, see what's gonna work. Starting off with a little four inch Z-Man diesel minnow, I believe, on a three eighths ounce jig head. Again, there's miles upon miles of very similar shoreline like this. So if we don't get bit on this island, it's really no big of a deal. We just keep moving somewhere else. Find it hard to believe there's not a fish here. It's no level on that mangrove island. It's centered over here to the uh, to the bridge. I want to try to fish those mangroves on the other side, but we'll try to fish through the bridge first. There's already guys fishing up there, believe it or not. Make a couple of random casts. I don't know if you can smell it through the camera, but. Smells like red tide right now. Apparently it's not too bad right now in this particular location, but you can definitely smell that uh, aroma of dead fish in the air. It's gotta be something underneath this bridge here. Damn bro, brutal. All right, no love on the bridge either. We'll probably come back here, but Right now, I want to fish all these mangroves. They look way better. Plus, the bridge just sticks out. Maybe a little more pressure. Surprised we didn't get any bites, though. All right, no level on this guy. Let's uh, try to spice it up a little bit. Switch up the uh, plastic we got on here. Looks real good in the water. I don't know why I didn't get any bites, but. Water's pretty dirty. We'll try throwing around a uh, DOA cow shad here. See if that can get her done. Just looks too good. Deep mangrove shoreline. Calm, decent casts. Should be a fish on here, man. Oh, it's got bit. There he is. There he is. There he is. There's a fish. Oh, yeah. Little snook. Little snook. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, not a bad fish actually for this light tackle. Get out of the structure. Get out of there. We got light leader on here. Oh yeah, it's a not a bad fish at all. Not a bad fish at all. Come here. Oh no, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here. No, 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 no. Oh, this point is where I probably wouldn't like a net. Oh no, we don't have a chance with this guy, bro. He's dogging us right now. Get out of there. Come here, come here. Got him. Yeah, buddy. That's not a bad fish, buddy. Look at that light, light tackle job. Hooked him perfectly. There we go, folks. Not a giant. Probably a uh, upper 20s, maybe 30 inch snook right there. No idea how we landed it. It's my biggest ever snook from the kayak. First ever snook from the kayak for me. Jersey Guggen, I'm stoked, baby. Let's send her back. Hell yeah. Beautiful fish, dude. Beautiful, beautiful fish. There she goes, boom. Awesome, no idea how I landed that thing. Light, light gear, folks. Literally second cast of the DOA cow shad. I like that chartreuse tail, man. Look, there's literally bite marks in the tail. That's sick, so uh, GoPro just died, gonna throw in a new battery, and uh, hell yeah, dude, it's awesome. Been about an hour now of fishing, and uh, let's see if we can, uh, see if we can keep up this trend. You. Well, I'm stoked, folks. That's a decent fish right there. Nothing too crazy. I don't think I could catch anything much bigger than that, though, on this gear. Somehow, I hooked him perfectly in the corner of the mouth. Didn't even shape the leader at all. But uh, we catch anything bigger than that, we're going to be in for some trouble. Because that is a solid fight on this light, light-ass gear. There he is. Another one. Oh, yeah. Next cast, bro. Micro, though. Micro snook. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy. So, first cast with a DOA cow shad, snagged a tree. Second cast, snagged probably a slot snook. Next cast, snagged a uh, bait size snook. See you, bro. Awesome. And there goes our tail. My inshore tackle box is certainly lacking. So I don't know how long I'm able to feed them these shads, but that is sick. Literally struck the tail both times. Been throwing this Z-Man around all day, no love, but murky water makes sense why they want this. Little root beer cow shad. This might be the hot bait for today, folks. Just focusing on anything that sticks out just like this. Pretty obvious, you wanna fish any structure that's submerged in the water and the closer I can get to it, better. So this folks obviously is not what this spot is supposed to look like. So the entire west coast was hit by Hurricane Ian just a couple months ago, but this spot right here in particular took brunt of the damage and just looking at this, this landscape here, this is definitely not that natural. You can see the entire mangrove forest here is just dead, decimated. And uh, just even just driving to this spot, it's just been absolutely unreal seeing all the destruction the storm has caused. But it's good to know the fish are, are still thriving back here. Um, we picked up two snooks no, so far. I doubt there's much back here right now, except for maybe some dead red tide fish. We'll probably be doing a little quick 180, heading out of this little creek. Caught a couple fish so far. Gonna fish the other side and uh, you know, maybe pick up a couple more fish with that new chartreuse root beer color. Sun's coming out. Beautiful day here in Florida. Let's uh, keep catching some fish. Oh, bro, it's a bite. That was a bite right there for sure. There's fish right back here. Just can't get them. Oh. Damn, right there on that point. <laughs> Missed like two in a row, they're probably nothing big. Oh shoot. There he is, got him, got him. Little dink. 
I knew they were in there. Oh yeah, another slob right there. See you, bro. They were literally all stacked on that point. Third cast, literally every cast that was getting bit. Probably still more back there. All right, we had a good maybe hour and a half of fun back there. Caught a couple snook, plenty of bites. Um, after catching those two real dinks, I'm actually pretty proud. I was able to get that upper 20 inch, maybe 30 inch fish. Right now we're gonna leave this canal, shoot through the bridge. We may come back and fish the bridge later, but uh, as for now, I just wanna concentrate on the similar mangrove structure to this and uh, see if we can get ourselves a couple more snook, maybe a lucky redfish. Pretty good start so far. Look, still hurricane debris. There's a boat cushion back there. Real nice seat, actually. If I had a boat, maybe I'd uh, salvage it. There's gotta be a fish right here. There we go. Oh my God. Just got smoked right there. Probably a little dink again, but I respect the dinks. So this channel here runs for miles. We'll probably end up fishing mostly all of these mangroves. And uh, the sun is out and blaring though. Temperature has gone up a lot from this morning. So I probably don't even need the sweatshirt now. The bite is probably gonna slow down throughout the afternoon, at least with our chances of big fish. So hopefully we can uh, still manage to get a couple, but again, Midday in Florida, the bite is just never as good as early morning or, it's du or at dusk. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, damn. Right there on that point. Just switched up to a little 1 8 ounce jig head instead of the 3 8 ounce I was using earlier. I figured I want to move the bait a little bit slower and uh, work a little more finesse now that the sun's out. It's a little bit later in the day and that was actually first cast. This cove looks pretty good here too. But honestly, there's just so many miles of mangrove shoreline. We, if we cover ground, we should get tight. No fish to be found anywhere here in this little uh, back creek. Not even a bite in a while. Real skinny back here, dude. Chances of us catching anything of size are probably like zero, but maybe we'll still get a bite. Seen a couple snook so far. Again, all real small ones. So because of how skinny this little creek has become, and uh, we're, really, we're really out of the wind, so the water clarity improved a lot. We're gonna go a little more finesse, start throwing around a little voodoo shrimp over here. And I just work this real slow. I know there's fish in here. I've seen plenty of small snook, had a couple bites, but they're pretty finicky and maybe they're looking for a little more fragile presentation, so. Got one. We're on. Yeah, buddy. Come here, come here. Come here. Oh, no. oh my god. No way. Let's go, baby. GoPro just died. Here in the Florida sun, things overheat a lot. But uh, check out this surprise. <laughs> wow, that is awesome, dude. My first ever ever redfish wow that is sick on the shrimp bro how gnarly is that absolutely choked it i can't believe we just caught that i can't believe i missed the hit but that's how these things go not a giant redfish at all a little uh little puppy puppy drum as they call it that is sick bro absolutely slammed of course i got no pliers so may lose a finger right here dang son slam that baby look at that drum <laughs> little guy these things have eluded me for forever. That is gnarly, gnarly catch. 
Oh yeah. Of course the GoPro had to overheat, but uh, right here behind me, you can see we're at the end of the creek and there's a little bit of water flowing in from the bay. And uh, well, makes sense why that guy was there. That is sick, bro. Stoked we got that. Hopefully you guys were able to see some of the fight at least, but that was dope. Let's go baby, covered in fish slime. Only sweatshirt I brought out here. Yes. Good start. We've got snook, redfish down so far. Quite the day so far. Only been out in the water for like two hours. Let's go. That's awesome. Oh man, I guess the GoPro doesn't like being 150 degrees. But uh, that was so dope, dude. On this little voodoo shrimp. This is my pretty much my last cast here anyway. But uh, we'll keep throwing this guy for a little bit longer. At first, I thought it was just a small snook, and I wasn't really didn't really care about recording anything. Then I saw that flash and saw the shape. Freaking redfish, dude! How cool. That made this whole little mangrove adventure worth it. Spent about an hour back here with uh, pretty much nothing to show for it. Until that little guy. That's a fish I wanted to cross off the bucket list for so long. I've had so many close encounters with them, but they're actually increasingly rare to find down here in South Florida and uh, pretty tricky to catch. Again, that one was just a little rat, but just to catch a redfish is dope. All right, back to searching along the mangroves with the paddle tail back out here in the wide open. There he is, there he is. Oh my God, no way. No way. <laughs> There's our sheep's head. No way I just caught that. That's hilarious, dude. Can't believe we just domed one of these guys. <laughs> Little tiny sheep's head right there. Smack the paddle tail. That's unreal. <laughs> Can't believe we caught that guy. These guys are actually pretty good eating too. So, so I normally don't keep a lot of fish I catch, but we'll uh, toss this guy in the back here. That's pretty freaking sweet dude a really lucky sheep's head or unlucky sheep's head i should say all right folks again we really haven't had any significant bites uh in a couple hours i haven't even caught a snook in about three hours so that was mostly a morning thing i really did mess up uh letting my phone die overnight and waking up way later than i wanted but but sometimes it can't always go perfectly according to plan but overall i would say it's been a pretty solid day so far caught three snook one decent a couple dinks um, was able to get my first ever redfish, which was dope, and uh, my first ever part of sheep's head. So no crazy spectacular catches today, but uh, yeah, overall a pretty solid day. The sun is just blaring right now, and again, fishing in Florida, peak of the afternoon, midday, is really not the hottest. You want to kind of anchor your fishing around the uh, the beginning and the end of the day. So I could probably stay out here a little bit more and grind, catch a couple more bites, but but uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate both those things. And uh, never end the send. Yoop.